to see you. Let's talk about betrayer. In the journey of life, we are bound to be betrayed as many times as possible. As long as you are making effort to get to the top in life, you will be betrayed. Let's take for instance the story of Joseph. He was betrayed by his brothers, but eventually got to the position of a prime minister in Egypt. Despite the betrayers, he didn't allow this to stop him. What did he do? Even when he had the opportunity to deal with his brothers, he didn't go through that route. He took them in and he made them important at the end of the day. Now, betrayer can actually be a springboard to your next level if you know how to manage it. Because people are bound to betray you. Especially when your path is laced with greatness. So, now, we know betrayal can cause you to be depressed, can cause you to be disappointed, it can cause you to, to stop trusting people. It can as well cause you to want to find you know, the, the, the easiest way, the better way you know, to get things done without involving people. But that's not going to work because nobody makes it in life alone. You need people to make it in life. And how do you now know those who are going to betray you or those who are not going to betray you? I think that is not really, really important. What is important is the vision that, is, that God has set before you and the vision you have been able to cause. How are you going to achieve this? This is what you need to do. You need to understand that some relationships are not there forever. Why some relationships are for probably months and years? Whereas some relationship can last more than that. The ability to be able to understand when a relationship is about to expire gives it that leverage and the opportunity to understand when a betrayer is about to take place. Having said that, one or two relationships might skip out of your you know, hands or radar and it may end up in betrayal. Do not let that deter you. I'd like you to press on. I'd like you to forge ahead. I'd like you to know that in every betrayer, you will learn one or two things. Having talked about the impact, how do we mitigate betrayal in the journey of life? I'd like you to know that not everyone is your friend, as much as not everyone is your enemy. Now, work more with your friends, and once you identify your enemy, keep a distance. Another thing you need to do in order to mitigate betray, betrayal is to always focus on where you are going. You may, fall at so, you may fall so many times. Do not worry. Just keep standing up and keep moving. The work of betrayers is to deter you and distract you from reaching your goal. The ultimate is for you to reach your goal, whether you are being betrayed or not. And as a matter of fact, betrayer will always give you that opportunity to know that there are some things you should have done better. I submit to you, as I close, that despite betrayers, you can still make it this year. Despite those challenges, you can still go ahead and fulfill your dreams. Stop thinking about betrayer. Continue to dream. Continue to work hard on yourself. Continue to take the next step towards the achievement of your goal. And I'll see you at the top. God bless you.